Welcome back to our FPS series where we continue building our FPS game inside of Unity and this is what we got so far. We got our bots which are stationary for now. We got our map which have added a little bit of a fog effect to add to the realism and for shooting this is what we have so far. We, we only have the shooting, we have a missing texture that I forgot to fix but we don't have any sound. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to build the sounds for our weapons. So obviously there's more than one way to build sounds for your weapons, but the method that I'll show you today is the method that uses these animations events. So at your weapons, you're going to you're going to obviously have these shooting animations that the weapon acts like it's being shot. And then you have these animation profiles. What we're going to focus for now is this automatic fire loop. So this automatic fire loop has no event set for now. So what we're going to do is simply click this icon and that is going to set a event for now. Now the way this event works is that if we click it and go to our hierarchy view or the inspector view, we're going to see that it has a function. Now the function is set to no function selected. If we select the functions, we're going to see all of our methods that are inside this script, the weapons controller script this one right here. So all the public methods like public fire or whatever you might have a public method in here will show up into this event. So you might have guessed what we're going to do now. We're going to build a event so afterwards we can trigger it from here. Okay let's go into our script and let's populate this script a little bit more. So the first thing we're going to need is a audio clip and then we're going to need a audio source to attach this fire clip or audio clip to. Okay, here we have our audio source and our audio clip. Now we're going to need a method to attach this clip inside this audio source. So let's build that. What I've done so far is I've created a empty method that takes in as a parameter a audio clip. And in the start method, I'm using that method and then I'm passing this fire clip that we are importing from up here so that we can instantiate it. So inside this method, we're going to create a new audio clip. Okay, this is how you create an audio clip and then attach it to this game object. And then all we need to do in here is attach this clip inside this fire source. This is the syntax for attaching the clip inside a audio source. Is simply by saying audio source dot clip is equal to the clip that we want. And after you create this method, we obviously need a play sound method. So let's build that. And all this play sound is going to do is check if this fire source is already playing. And if it's not, it's going to start playing that. And here is our complete block of code. So we have a play sound that checks if it's already playing. And if it is already playing, it's simply going to stop it and then start over from beginning. We're going to save that. And inside our inspector view, we're going to go back and select that automatic fire loop. We're going to select that event. And in our function, we're going to select play sound. Then for the sounds, I went ahead and grabbed some of the sounds that Unity provided with the FPS sample, which you can grab for free in GitHub. And where we created a fire clip, all we're going to do is drag a fire and drop it inside the clip. And then this will automatically generate a audio source. So all we need to do now is hit play. Okay, it's already working. Now if we shoot, we should hear a audio source playing. Okay, that's our fire sounds done. Now let's do the reload sounds and the walking sounds. So I'll do those off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so after a little bit of time, this is what I came up with. We have shooting, we have reloading, and of course we have walking. Which may be a little bit quiet at the moment, but we can fix that later. So one thing that you might want to consider is while walking you can jump and as you jump the sound might keep on going as you're walking but what we've done is we've added a simple if function to check if we're grounded or not and this is the code that checks if we're grounded and then it simply sets this movement into a certain value and now if we jump the walking should stop and it does okay so this is about this tutorial I hope you've learned something and I'll see you in the next ones.